Today, I'll be showing you how to replace the thermal paste for a Nintendo Switch in all three locations. What you're gonna need for this job is a screwdriver with a double zero Phillips and a double zero Y, as well as some isopropyl alcohol. I like to use 99%. And then some cleaning utensils. I'm gonna be using Q-tips and cleaning pads, but any cleaning utensil like that will work. And then to finish it off, you will need some thermal paste as well. I'm using Arctic MX4, but any thermal compound that has a good rating on Amazon will work. I will have some links in the description below with the tools and the thermal paste. Let's start with the four screws on the back that require the Y00. Next, I'll switch to my double zero Phillips bit, and that will be used for the remainder of the screws. Start with the screw underneath the kickstand. Next, remove the screws from the rails. There's one screw on each side in each rail, and it's just the center screw that needs to be removed. Next, there are two screws on the bottom, one on either side of the USB-C port, and one screw on the top. Be careful, these screws are very small and easy to strip. Now the back of the shell can be removed. There are small plastic tabs holding it together, so just be very careful. I like to pry up from the bottom. Now the board that houses the SD card slot needs to be removed. Start by removing the single screw that's on the left-hand side of the board. Next, remove the small black pad to expose the connector. This is just a surface mount connector, so the best thing you can do is just kind of pull up on the SD card board and just do it gently, but it should just come right off. Next, remove the metal shield. There are six total screws remaining after removing the SD card slot. Now we can remove the metal shield. Under this metal shield is your first spot of thermal paste. You're gonna see right that pink glob, it's on the metal plate as well as on the copper heat pipe. From the metal plate, I'm just gonna scrape that thermal paste off with the spudger and just kind of dump it onto a paper towel. And then after that's scraped off, I'll go ahead and clean it thoroughly with a Q-tip and some isopropyl alcohol. Once that's clean, then you can go ahead and same thing, take some alcohol with a Q-tip and clean off the copper heat pipe. Now remove the three screws holding on the copper heat pipe. Once those are removed, you've got these two pads that are holding the heat pipe to the fan. You do need to kind of rip or ruin those pads, unfortunately. You could try and scrape them off. They just don't come off that easy. So I just take the sharp end of my plastic spudger and I just kind of peel back at it and scrape at it until it's gone and it's removed. Now that the copper heat pipe is removed, you'll see our next spot for thermal paste to clean. And that's gonna be on the bottom of that as well as on the top of the copper plate. So I'm just gonna go ahead and another, another Q-tip with isopropyl alcohol and clean both of those. Now we're onto the third spot where there's thermal paste. And it's a little bit trickier because it's underneath this metal plate that has the copper plate on it as well. So you kind of have to get a flathead screwdriver and get underneath. There's little tabs holding it on. So you want to be very careful. You don't want to break any of the components around this, but you kind of need to lift up and push in those metal tabs until you can pop it up. So just go really slow and go around here and pop up each of those tabs. You'll see it kind of lift up. Once you get far enough, it'll actually slide to the left and then you can lift it up. And there's the third spot where you're gonna find thermal paste. Now back to scraping and cleaning with isopropyl alcohol. Now 
Now, once you get to the actual CPU here, what you're going to want to do is be very careful because there's a lot of small components around the edges here. So what I take is the sharp point of the spudger and I kind of just scrape away as much as I can being very gentle and very slow. Just getting rid of as much as you can without affecting any of those components. If you press too hard or move too fast, you may damage or break off one of those small components and then the system won't work anymore. So you gotta be very careful. Once that scraped off as best you can, take some isopropyl alcohol on a Q-tip and clean around and just do your best. You're not going to get this completely clean because it's just a little too dangerous to get in there and get everything out. So I just do my best and take out as much as I can and then move on. Now apply thermal paste and you just want a small little bead in the middle. Pressure from the plate will spread that out for you. And the plate will just snap into place. So just line it up and go ahead and push it into place. Once that's installed, we can go ahead and put thermal paste on top. Now we can reinstall the copper heat pipe. It's just gonna slide in at the top with those fins and then drop into place. And I'll go ahead and take it off so you guys can just see how that spreads on. Once that copper heat pipe is down, you can go ahead and put the three screws back in. And now thermal paste on the heat pipe itself. And after that's on, you can install the metal plate. And I'll go ahead and take that off as well so you guys can see how that spreads out. Now put the seven screws back into the metal plate. There's six that go directly into the plate and then one that holds on the SD card slot. Next, install the SD card slot. For the surface mount connector, what you're gonna do is line it up the best you can and then give down pressure with your finger very lightly until you feel and hear the click. You'll know it's connected because it won't be loose anymore. Once connected, go ahead and put the screw back in and the small black pad. Now the back shell can be put back on. Screw underneath the kickstand. Screws on either side in the rails. One screw on the top two screws on the bottom. And the last four screws on the back that are your double zero Y. And that's it guys. That's everything put back together. I hope this video helped you. If it did, make sure to like, subscribe, and I'll see you next time.